one. Hi everyone, this is Christine Josty of Mail Something Pretty and I wanted to show you this fun, really cool snowflake card. This is actually a club project for our November club and I want to show everyone who is part of club um, how to put your kit to get or how to put your card together. Um, this card I saw online, um, but it was pink and I just loved it pink. But I didn't have pink ribbon and I think it really needed a ribbon. So I um, turned it into a blue card, which I love blue Christmas cards. Um, so I will put the information on my blog. I will include the original photo that I was um, inspired by and um, her name will be on there. I just don't remember who it was. Um, so let's get started. Let's put your cards together and for those who are not part of club, um, I will give you the measurements and you may want to consider joining club. My next one starts up in December. Um, my clubs are six months long and um, everyone in club puts in an order each month for a um, minimum of $30 and then uh, we rotate hostesses so whoever is the host of the month um, receives all those benefits for that month and then you get um, a free club card class so you can either come in person if you live near me or if you don't um, you can you get your kits and you assemble them by following these videos so let me know if you are interested in uh, more details or joining club and I'm I'm taking new members and I would love to have you okay so here are all our components for this card um, I'm just gonna kind of spread them out a little bit let's see just trying to think what the first thing I actually think I'm going to show you how to color um, the um, snowflake behind the, the pattern behind it is we're actually going to color and make our own. You can see here that they're different because um, each snowflake is unique. So I'm just looking for that piece of vellum. Here it is. All right, we're going to start with that. So in your kit, you already have one because um, I didn't know if you had um, the supplies. And I almost forgot something. It's right here. Okay. So you already have one, but I'm going to show you how to make it. So I'm just going to use my silicone mat here so you can see it a little bit better. So I have a piece of vellum here and it is, I'm going to show you these again, the measurements, but uh, let's see, it is two and three quarters wide by three inches tall. I'll show you those measurements again. I will also put them on my blog. Um, so what we're going to do is use blends markers and I think this part is really cool because you're going to see how great of a color I am. You're just going to make marks, squiggles, circles, marks. Um, I have Bermuda Bay. You can use any colors you want, but these are the colors that I used. Right? So not really following a pattern. I put in a little balmy blue. I tried the pool party. It was too soft of a color. You can actually color on top of the colors. And then, um, because I was inspired, I just loved that pink card. I put a little pink in it, a little nod to the card. And then, this is actually, is this polished? Yeah, this is polished pink. And a little bit darker because each blends pack comes with a light and a dark marker. All right, so hope you can see it. That is my coloring. So this is going to become something kind of similar to that. And I just realized I did not plug in my heat tool. So let me see if I can do that real quick. Pardon any noise. I have my heat tool. I have it on a very long extension cord for, and I'm done, wrap it. For when I do my card classes, it extends the whole length of the table. It takes forever to unwrap, and I'm sorry if it's loud. But, um, it makes a difference if you use it. Ooh, getting all caught up here. Uh, live videotaping, <laughs> kind of. I just said, okay. All right, again, pardon if that was noisy with all my noises. All right, so we're gonna, um, we're gonna turn this into this with rubbing alcohol in the heat tool in a paintbrush. Um, you need to use 
91% of rubbing alcohol. I didn't bring up the bottle, but there's two types. I think there's like a 70% and a 91%. You need to use the 91%. Um, this is, isn't this awesome? This is a card, um, a past demonstrator club member, and she moved, Ellen, who's very talented, made me, and I loved it, and it's awesome that she sent me her directions. So this is done the exact same way as this, just on a smaller scale. And so I just love this. So, I'm so I was excited when I saw the snowflake card because it used that technique that I made myself learn it. And wait to see how easy it is. Like, I don't know what I waited so long. Okay, so that's all done. This is just rubbing alcohol in a little kid paintbrush. You don't want to put too much on because it'll get really wet. And I'm just kind of dabbing it a little bit to um, I'm not even like painting I'm just dabbing and that's probably enough alcohol right there um, yep and I'm gonna use my heat tool I'm gonna use it in the low setting there's two settings low and high I'm gonna do it on low just to dry it and you'll see it dries pretty quick because it's alcohol you know water would probably repel Mm, you're missing the aroma of the alcohol. Smell of vision. I just want to dry it all. I'm even use a paper towel to get that corner. There you go. So it's quick. Isn't that awesome? I don't know if you can see it better on that or on that. But they're all different, just like snowflakes. Um, cover that up so I don't spill it. But I just love this technique. So it looks like there's, um, I'm trying to think what it's called. It's like an alcohol ink does this type of um, look, but we don't have alcohol inks with Stampin' Up, but we do have blends markers and rubbing alcohol. So that does it. All right. And also the expressions of ink paper has this look to it too, already pre-done. It's For me, it's just beautiful. Okay, so here we go. Here are our supplies. Let me get my measurements out so you can see what they are. Because um, it's a lot of layers, but some of them will be hidden. All right, so we have our regular card base. This is Bermuda Bay, so that's five and a half by eight and a half, scored in the middle at four and a quarter. And then we have a few layers. This one actually I didn't write down. This is the inside layer um, that is four by five and a quarter. And I didn't bring them up. I used the snowflakes from the, I think it's called Merry Snowflakes, Snowflake Season. Mm. It's in the holiday catalog, but the snowflake dies in the holiday catalog. Some of them cut snowflakes out and some of them kind of create this little inlaid look. And I really like it. So that's gonna go on the inside. You have your pool party layer, and that is four by five and a half, which is the same as the white on the inside. You have your vellum layer that we're gonna put on the pool party, and I already embossed it. And so some of the girls at the club in the morning didn't know you could do this. You can emboss, dry emboss, with the embossing folders, vellum. And so um, this is a set that's sold in the annual catalog called Wintery 3D. Uh, you get two and they, they are designed thinner because you can use them in the mini stem and cut and emboss machines, but you can also use them in the big one. Um, and so the reason why <laughs> it's that size is because that's the size of the embossing folder, but you just put the vellum in and run it through just like paper. And another little tip, I don't know if you notice on my 3D folders, I actually write with a paint pen 3D because that will just remind me that um, I use that dark gray platform, not the two clear ones. Um, so it just triggers in my head so I don't get frustrated. So I write that on all my 3D folders. Okay, so that's that. And then you have these layers here. And so the Bermuda Bay, and I just did it a really uh, tight or a thin layer. Uh, let's see. So two and seven eighths by two and an eighth. If you want it to be a little bit bigger, you can, but I didn't want to cover up. That's just a little bit of the vellum on the inside. So that's why it's a narrow border. And then there's a hidden layer of white, which I'll show you that in a second. So these three layers are all the same. The white, the vellum, we just colored, 
and this little guy, the snowflake. So let me move these and I'll show you where that came from. In the holiday catalog, they sell these iridescent snowflakes, wonderful snowflakes. You get 24 of them in a pack. And so, you know, you punch them out and you get the snowflakes. Um, but then you're left over with the negative image. So whoever created this card decided that they would use the negative image. So I cut it, you know, I cut them out and then I popped up the snowflakes for another project. And so that ends up being the same size as these other ones, uh, two and three quarters by three. So those, those three pieces, the white, the vellum and the snowflake are all the same size. Okay. Let's put this card together now that you have all the pieces. All right. So when you gluing vellum, it is, you know, it's fairly see through. So you don't always want to see, um, through it. So you have to carefully, I can't get my glue up. You have to carefully hide it. So put that back there. So this piece, the middle piece is going to be hidden. So that really doesn't matter. Just make sure I glue on the correct side. So I'm just going to put some glue in the middle. I should have started this before. There we go. So it doesn't matter. And then I think you can see it better on here. Yeah. I'm going to put some glue kind of where there's a lot of white of the, some of the snowflakes have more white than others. Um, because it will kind of be hidden and I don't have to put too much like that's even enough. It doesn't all have to be glued down, but I just don't want it to be seen. So you can see the glue right there but it doesn't matter. And then the parts I hid behind, you're not really going to see. Oh, I think I realized I just forgot to put diamonds in my little basket, but it's okay. All right. So then we are going to, before we put this down on the card base, we're going to put some ribbon around it and you have a piece in your envelope. This is probably my third spool of this because I love it. What's it called? It's pool party sheer ribbon. And I just, it just matches it. I mean, obviously here it's, there's pool party, so it matches, but, um, it can match so many more things. It really can pick up colors because of the sheerness and it has just a hint of sparkle. So this is in the holiday catalog as well. I think I need, I just need a little bit more. My, um, my hands are freezing. <laughs> it's cold up here. <laughs> it's so, um, they're not working so good. All right. So I'm just going to tie a bow and I don't know the size of ribbon I cut you, but I know I cut it long enough for you. But usually I leave the ribbon attached to the spool so I can kind of fidget with it. Well, it's still attached in case I needed to undo it if I did the wrong size and then I trim. All right. So I know where this knot is. I know it needs to be more here to the left. So I'm just going to shift it over. It has to almost be close to the, where the edge of the vellum is just for it to fit the snowflake. Okay. So now I can glue that down onto my card base. Or if you use another type of adhesive, I really like to use a multi-purpose glue. I think it goes a long way. It's not expensive and it's easy to use and you can use it for lots of um, different projects. Okay. So there's the card. All right. So that I'm going to set aside for a minute. So this is the, um, I just think it's so pretty. We are going to glue this right onto this white paper because if we didn't and we put it on just on the blue, you can kind of see some of the colors, but I think you just get more of the colors with the white behind it. So it's like a hidden layer. And so, um, because it's going to be, we're going to put this snowflake, our negative snowflake on top, I can glue on all the corners 
of this because you're not going to see it. And then I'm going to put that on top. You can either put this on top of the blue now or you can put your negative image on top. Either way, I'm just going to use this. I'll do it this way first. But they should match up with sizes. And if not, you can trim it. So this piece is going to end up being a little thick, especially when we put it on the other layer. Not pretty. And then we'll put this on the Bermuda Bay, which again has a thin little, tiny little border. But that's so you can see more of the card. Okay. So then you can either, I think this one I glued down, although I got some glue here. And then this one, I use dimensionals. So you can do either one. I think I'm just going to do dimensionals to put it on there because it just pops it up just a little bit. So see where I have the bows like really over there? I'm just going to center that here, fix my bow, okay. And then in your envelope you got some snowflakes, I already pre-cut for you. And then let's see, I meant to do this off camera, but you will have to probably poke out some of your, just a few of the holes, if there's any, some there, not too many. Okay, so the bigger one gets put right here in the middle and you can use, you can either put it directly down, actually this one I might, or you can use a little mini um, dimensional. This one, the other ones I put, I used a dimensional, but I'm going to just glue this one straight down and see. And it's okay if the glue comes up because you're going to put a, um, you need to leave it there if you have a, um, I use the rhinestones, which I didn't seem to bring up here with me. Um, but if you have a rhinestone or a pearl or something, you can put that in the middle or just leave it. And then I'm just going to, I'm just going to glue these. I don't have, I don't have any mini dimensionals. So normally I would just cut these into little pieces, but since my hands are cold, I don't know if I could handle that. So I'm just going to glue them down. So I'm going to put glue on here and then put that down. I think that'll be easier. I'm just going to seal it shut with my piercer. And I'm going to put a little glue here. Same thing with this one in the corner. I'll hold it down. This brings it all together. So you can leave it exactly like this. You could add diamonds. Or I gave you two different sized little labels. So depending on if you have a little um, sentiment, this one I did Happy Holidays. You can also turn it into a birthday card for a winter birthday. I know I have a January birthday and I would love to get something like this as my birthday card. Um, so you have a few options. I will just stamp real quick. I use the polished pink just to kind of match the pinks. And this is, a, this is actually from a set from last year. Just this Happy Holidays. Because then if you can also send this to someone, um, not just for Christmas, for other reasons too. And I'll just put a little glue on the back. I'm just going to put glue on half of it. Because some of it was going to overhang. Okay. And then the last thing I forgot. I'm just going to glue that inside. And if you have a saying you want to stamp on the inside, you can do that, or you can leave it because it has the snowflakes. You don't necessarily need a stamped greeting. 
And then our card is done. Okay, let me just put the cover on the glue. Oop. That fell off, put that back on there. Okay, now it's done. So you can see um, the vellum, you know, this one was done a little lighter than that one. I'll put the birthday one on here too so you can see the three. Um, again, each snowflake is a little different, so each one is different. Um, okay, so I will put this, um, might not be for a few days, but I will put uh, the measurements and pictures of these cards up on my blog so you have those as reference, and then um, the video will be posted to YouTube. You can watch anytime. And um, if you are not part of the club, I invite you to consider joining club and reach out to me, Christine at mailsomethingpretty.com. It's my email. Or go to my um, blog. I, I will have some club details up on that. And you can check that information out. But it's fun, um, both for people who don't live close and for people who live close. Okay, um, I think that I'm looking around to make sure that's that. And I'm going to clean up um, my stuff. And I have actually another video to film. So enjoy your day. Uh, visit my blog at mailsomethingpretty.com. If you're not on my mailing list, please sign up. I have lots of information going out, especially because of the holidays. Okay, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.